and Domdus. Nice to be here. You'll be playing Kit Kats soon enough. I will be actually in Group B. So later, I'll like six. Yeah. Until that, we'll have to see who is going to be the second seed of Group A. Uh, as we mentioned, we will see Trump and Kabi. And the winner of that will face the loser of the previous match, which was Koyuki. How's, how's this shaping up? You, you pretty happy? Pretty Happy with the results? Pretty expected stuff? What do you think, Chucky? Uh, I mean, I think it was pretty unexpected. Mm. I, I don't see how you can really expect, you know, someone you don't know too much about to come in and sweep the group, but Demigod did it. And it was Demigod. It was pretty convincing, yeah. Can't beat him. All right. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see Sunday, I suppose. That's when he plays next. Oh, man, look at that Trump focus. Yeah, Trump in a hole now. Has to get out. Yeah, the, the player who loses this one is out. This is, this is the first... Uh, first option to be double eliminated of the tournament. Yep. So someone is leaving today. I have to say though that I think uh, Trump and Kabi are both playing uh, fairly traditional lineups from what I remember from earlier. Well, Kabi uh, brought the Mech Shaman, which was a little bit yeah, not quite as traditional. But then that's, you know, with it, the Grim Patron Warrior and the Hunter. That's or true. no, it's with Control Warrior and yeah, Hunter. And okay. Trump doesn't have a warrior, so oh, that's not traditional. Okay. That's true, that's true. Right. Okay. Okay, a little bit, little bit less than traditional. Yeah, values Paladin and Handlock over them, which he's played a lot on his stream to pretty good success in High Legend. Yeah, I was, I was just having a brief chat with him. Uh, you know, people were asking why he didn't play Grim Patient Warrior. He said, you know, he practiced a little bit, but his his win rate on ladder wasn't that great. Yeah. And conquest format is very similar to ladder in many cases. Yep. Yeah. But uh, you know, we'll see. So far, Warrior has been has been one of the better classes. It certainly hasn't struggled to beat another deck. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, Koyuki struggled a little bit in the last match. Oh, yeah, I missed a little bit of that. Yeah. yeah. But Warrior definitely a really strong class. Mm -hmm. okay. No opening with Warrior, though. No it's going Warriors to be in this match. Hunter versus Paladin. So, slow Hunter from Kabi. And. Yeah, Firebat earlier mentioned that this matchup does seem to favor the Paladin. Yeah. Not, not heavily, but. The, Somewhat. The old, like, fast hunters with, like, explosive trap and two unleashes. A lot of hunters are cutting down to one now. Uh, you just don't have as efficient answers to all of the paladin stuff, like muster for battle now. Freezing trap are really weak to muster for battle. Yeah. And high mains really weak to silences and outdoors. Yeah, outdoors. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, you used to think that the base hunter that a lot of people used to run was really good against mid rage paladin. But now with this hybrid, kind of heavier, like using freezing traps, definitely think Paladin has a nice little edge. Yeah, those freezing traps are absolutely terrible in the back and forth situations, which often result in the mid game. Yep. And Trump, of course, is going to keep Muster for battle. One of the best cards here. Even when it gets punished, it's not really a punish. It's more of like a one for one yeah. right, to keep a weapon. Yeah. Funny thing is, uh, that weapon, uh, in Arena these days is considered one of the better Paladin cards. Because people keep going with like more early <laughs> really? garbage. Yeah. Just Light's Justice is Light's Justice is good wow. enough. Isn't that Man, crazy? That's enough? a good tip for me to know. I've never really drafted it any time <laughs> recently. That's maybe why I do terribly in Arena. Uh, Juggler in the Muster is pretty good too. Yeah. Yep. No, it's just like the weapon just picks up value by itself. Yeah. It's like it's, 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 it's really going, going into what you were talking about. Like when you get punished with your dude, you still keep the weapon. Yep. The weapon's like a card. Yeah. Yeah. You, you just pay two mana for three dudes, and exactly. usually those dudes require an answer. Mm -hmm. And I think for Kabi, he's going to want to wait and coin out Juggler Unleash. That's one of the better responses. I don't even think Trump is the first player to bring Kings to Paladin. I thought we saw that earlier from someone else, didn't we? Uh, no, I think it was Trump. You think it was Trump? Yeah. I think I saw a list with uh, Blessing of Kings online. And I know Trump very open to, you know, trying out lists from online and taking what he likes, sticking with it. What he doesn't like gets cut. I know he tested a lot on ladder. And Blessing of Kings, one of those cards that worked pretty well for him, I guess. I mean, every time I've seen it in this tournament, it's worked out pretty well for yeah, him. It's, yeah, it's really not something you play around right now. It's not that common. Yeah. Well, that one though, that's this combo right here. You can't even play around yeah. this one. <laughs> so, turn four oh, juggler he hit all the He hit all the juggles. All of them? Wow. Yeah. Kabi even checked with the, the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Optimizing his time. 
You think Trump is happy or sad? I mean, on, on one end, you get to see the value. Well, there's no consecration. Yeah. We're talking about how he had a pretty good start, but... It's gone. Yeah. The rules. It's all gone. <laughs> he does get to slowly pick off the hounds. You think it's worth it with the hounds? Probably. Yep. This turn from Kabi's not the greatest, but... Shredder's still pretty good. It's, yeah, it's not too bad. Well, you can... He is thinking about it, yeah. Mm. No, I think the play might be the juggler into the 1-1, one, one, and then you play the Shredder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think so. I'm going to juggle first, Unless though. Unless you can... No, doesn't matter. Eh, hit the face. It's unfortunate. Yeah, I might have put the 1-2 into the 1-1. One, one. You know, you kind of know he doesn't have consecration. Yeah. So maximizing the the one ones challenges all of the paladin Death tokens for the rest of the game. Well, with this play, you you have to deal with the shredder and the knife juggler, so it's good as well. Yeah. You can't just you know smack the knife juggler with your weapon. Right. He gets full heal bot value. Yeah. Trump approves. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad type of play. Uh, and he doesn't have an Alba. Yeah. Okay. Things about to start getting rough. Yep. I think the outcome of this treader is fairly significant. If if the heal bot can Last trade for it and stay alive, it's a really yeah. big deal. Definitely. I think the odds are in Trump's favor here. Ooh. Yep. That's fine. And he gets to probably pop down boom. You play much Paladin Domdus? I played Paladin during my Legendary Series week, actually. Okay. Uh, it's what I lost to Raynad twice with, though. Okay. Because Grim Patron <laughs> just wrecked me. You, you've lost the faith in the light? <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Okay. I was very intrigued, though, by the variation that Demigod brought that kind of heal it in, you know, Seal of Light, all that was really interesting. How do you feel the heals kind of play into the decks these oh, days? Like, like Garden of King is such a good card, but like it's too slow these days. Right. And so people had to play anti killbot which is pretty sad. But then like these days, I feel like anti killbot's not even fast enough. Right, yeah. I guess with the kind of style that he was playing, he just played... I guess if you have so much heal that you, and you can sustain like earlier with earlier heals, like mm -hmm. Seal of Light, that maybe it'll be enough to get you to that point where you can use Guardian of Kings. But... Yeah. Speaking of heals, yeah. uh, Trump's going to need more because mm. that's yeah. 13 points of burn in the Hunter Hand. Yeah. Plus two hero powers, and that's enough. Yep. So Paladin's weakness kind of showing again is they're not putting on much pressure. Mm -hmm. right. They're clearing, you know, they're putting up taunts and stuff, but at the end of the day, the Hunter can just ping you down. Yeah, I think a lot of this it. This is basically OBS, the, like, Trump is the top deck. Yeah, I think, a heal next turn. I think Kabi can set up a two-turn lethal. Oh, absolutely. Definitely, so. with that hand, yeah. I think a lot of the Paladin comes down to having the muster-quartermaster combo, and if you get yeah. that off, then you're in good shape. But if you don't, it's it's rough. Yeah, yeah it really helps their pressure out. When we had the musters, it just uh, there wasn't much backup while the Hunter had very good mid-game cards. So, yeah, quartermaster here would be 14 damage. So it'd have to be Quartermaster plus something else, which Paladin doesn't have much something else. Yeah, it does sick Boombot energy. <laughs> uh, I, I don't even know if Kabi's going to give him something to Boombot off. I guess he might Owl this turn, but mm. he would be Owling the Boombot. So. I like that. Yeah, so then there's no Boombot energy yeah. to be had. Yeah, you're right. Uh, he can take him to, what, nine? But then he only has eight from hand. Or you can take him to six, but then he only has five from hand. Mm. Ooh. That's true. Yeah, that's a bit tricky. Yeah, he's like one mana off anything that really gets him there. And he is, you know, Trump has a lot of damage on board. Hmm. Kabi doing the math. Finding out the unfortunate truth. I yep. like this because Quick Shot can probably draw you a card next turn. 
Yeah, if you if you just dump the kill commands, you'll you almost certainly get a draw with quick shot. I think that's the play. I think it's just yeah. You don't have kill command your hand is so yep. inconvenient that you can't really get hero power value mm -hmm. because then you can't dump all of your your spells. Right. So he still has to draw something though. Yeah. And uh, if Trump draws a heal, well, oh. taunt stops quite a decent amount as well. Yeah, I think Kabi's running the slow deck, the really slow deck with no chargers. Uh, but Unleash he's gonna have like Kabi or um, Unleash would have been lethal yeah. too as well. Um, yeah. Well, last turn it wouldn't have been. Now would be. This turn. Now it would, it would be. be. Yeah. I'm so saying, the, the like, Tyrion shuts out a few options. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, just just a couple, and shuts down Huffer. Nope. <laughs> Leak not too good anyway. So Unleash isn't out. Ooh. And That's wow, tough. Trump that... wins at wow. one health. Yep. What? Yep, he's got the damage. Well, he's gonna concede. Wow. What we? Th Ouch. You guys are saying the hunter's gonna take it, but not not quite. Not yeah, quite. I didn't quite do the math. Once I did the math, and I was like, he's one off. Really? But I, I still think Kabi uh, had the best course of action there. He can't really blame yeah. him for that. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think he played it perfectly. Yeah. Did what he could. Drawing two kill commands, you know, as, as much as people joke about it being so great, it's like, if you're one off, damage is basically nothing. I'm kind of I'm kind of glad Trump took that. Not not because he's on my team or anything, but because, uh, yeah, I don't like hunters. <laughs> you want to see more hunter? That's what you're saying. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's conquest. Damn. Ah. Oh. It's a lose lose. I'm okay with seeing more hunter. Uh, yeah. I'm done with that paladin deck. <laughs> now that's out of here. Yeah. You don't like paladin? Eh. Pawn's okay. It's very pa vanilla. It is. It is. It, it's it's a very traditional type of deck where you play yeah. for like... It almost seemed like he was just doing what he could, and it was like the hunter was the main focus. It's like, can he draw the damage? But it, It's true. The hunter did have, I guess, more decisions in that matchup. Yeah. But that's kind of how the game is trended these days. You know, you have more decisions if you are pressing yeah. for tempo and less if you're behind. Yep. So that's just naturally going to happen, I suppose. But I, I kind of miss... Some of the older days where both players had mid-range decks and had decisions throughout the game. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes. It'll probably happen this tournament. I think yeah. so. I think it's going to happen maybe one of these matches. Oh, Not this but one, this though. match. Not this one. <laughs> Not this one. <laughs> Hunter versus Hunter. <laughs> now, we were talking about earlier how there's maybe some strategy going on into um, you know, which classes you pick. And again, we do see this trend happening again and again. If, if a player loses with the deck, they stick with that class. So, and do you in think that case, Trump picked what he thought would be best because handlock against hunter is not too good. Mm -hmm. It's pretty slow hunter though. That's true. Actually. That, that makes it even worse. Does it? Yeah, especially with that hunter's mark that he saw last game. Oh yeah, the um, hunter's mark. Yeah, he saw a hunter's mark and an owl. Mm -hmm. um, but generally against handlock stuff like Savannah High Main puts them in board situations where it's like you can't really clear mm -hmm. you can't really heal because then you can't play molten's and press for damage you can't do nothing or else you just die yeah it just puts no, them no, in a no, winnable right, spot right. whereas the aggro hunter actually can lose to you know molten and heal by the, the molten wall yep yeah yeah i've, I've had some of those games as yeah, warlock of happens course occasionally not <laughs> it's fun yeah. you, you think you think it wasn't it, fun from my point of view oh but. it's totally <laughs> You think it's uh, it's that much of a win condition where, like, if you're playing Warlock against Hunter, you actually keep a Molten in the opener? Oh, yeah. Against the face Hunter, you definitely do. What if you don't know what it is? I think you still keep you it. You still keep it, definitely. Still keep it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially yeah. on ladder. Because oh, yeah. on ladder, a lot more players are willing to go for very aggressive lines. Like, yeah. hope they don't have Molten. <laughs> so. Like, most people are just trying to clock yeah, in. Yeah, you're like, just trying to get in games. as much games exactly. as you can. And so yeah. you just punish them with the Molten. All right, where well, uh, I believe Cabby has locked in his hand, and it's a great one. Yeah, yeah. that's a great start. Um, they're both running the really slower Hunter. I think Trump might have Chargers in his deck, if I remember correctly. Mm. Maybe. Um, not sure. We definitely know Cabby is running the slowest version possible, right. which is... No team. Yeah. And Trump, we also see a Houndmaster, so that tends to suggest a slower version. Mad Scientist is really important in this matchup. Well, if he does play the Mad Scientist and the Juggler comes out and the Juggles from the spawned 1-1s clears the board, 
Yeah, that's, that's kind of like a game over. Isn't that's it? the play I'd actually like to see. Yeah, that'd be disgusting. Because if it kills the mad scientist, doesn't even have to kill the web spinner. Yeah. Then you can proc the freezing with a one one. Yeah. And if he's been paying attention, which I'm sure he has. Yeah, Trump. Trump. He like knows the traps mm -hmm. in Kabi stack. And so you can pretty much not only that <laughs> shoot the other freeze trap. Yeah. So I'd really like to see him. Yep. Let's go. Great play. Oh. But will he get rewarded for it? No. Oh. Nope. However, I mean, the freezing trap's probably still going to hit a 1 1. And King Mothla's pretty good off of Web Spinner. Mm. I think you probably play it. Like, yeah, I think so. now or never. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Your opponent can't kill command to punish you. And you're going to have a freezing trap up. So they could, like, banana, quick shot, and trade, and you're really happy with that. So he's going to get initiative off of this. Well, it's not kill command that you're hoping he doesn't have. It's Hunter's Mark, right? Right, Hunter's Mark would be the worst. Yeah. And he doesn't have it. So, so it's banana quick shot. quick shot? Is that the play? Well, you check the trap. <laughs> And as long as it's not snake, you're happy. Yeah. If it's explosive, that's fine too. And it is freezing. And Mukla off of Web Spinner gonna put Kabi really far ahead. Basically, just gets initiative from here on out. But he is kind of run, running a bit low on cards, while Trump does have a decent amount of uh, answers and quality cards. Yeah, but two of Trump's cards are both bows. Which are just dead. The Houndmaster is dead right now, and uh, initiative is worth more than an extra card in this matchup. That's true. And he also has the mana disadvantage. Yep. Oh, one card one off. One card off. That's brutal. That would have been a really big deal. Uh, not even really that much. I guess he could have bananaed some more and made like a three-three spider <laughs> as his minion. He didn't have a three mana minion though. Was the issue. And so with the initiative, Kabi now has dominant board position. Yeah. He's got the high main for next turn, too. Yeah, normally high main, not a huge deal in this matchup. But when you have a Houndmaster behind it, yep. and... Your opponent's playing a three-mana 1-1. One, one. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> You've got all the time in the world now. <laughs> uh, you might even, like, bow off the 1-1. One, one. I kind of figure he probably doesn't have Unleash. A lot of people have cut down to one in the slower version. And that's the only thing that really punishes you here. Oh! oh there it is. Speaking of. Uh, still not that great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you have to do it. I think it's all right. I think you do the Unleash. But can you, can you take care of the Hyenas? No. Nope. You can bow one off, mm. and you can kill one with the scientist, and then freeze. Oh, that's trap good. Yeah, exactly. The... There you go. There you go. Yeah, yep. you have to bow one. But your opponent again talking about initiative. Oh no! Wait, what? Yeah, this is fine. He's proccing the freezing. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, but um, I, I wouldn't kill the four-one. Yeah, he's not going no. to. Yeah, he is. Oh. So, he wow. To freeze the high main. Oh, he's gonna try and go for the the freeze on the high main, which is he's just oh, not gonna attack with the high main now. Yeah. He might even just have master and leave it. Yeah. Um, Actually, wait, that's that's great. Because if, if he does do the Houndmaster, then Hunter's Mark is really good. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be really, uh, really good. Yeah, I think you play the minions, not the bow. Yeah, I think you can't really set up two turn lethal with the bow. It just doesn't really work. But yeah, you just pass. And here comes Hunter's Mark value. Mm -hmm. He also has a charging dog play. <laughs> For three it's, mana. It's better than the last yeah. three mana play, yeah, though. Yeah, true. He got the better freezing trap. Yeah. The last three mana 1-1 one, one didn't have charge. <laughs> Wasn't a beast, either. Oh, oh yes. That's the best synergy. <laughs> but he still played it. That was his best play. <laughs> That's way worse than a Wisp. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's as good as a Wisp, actually, because he had nothing else he could play. Yeah. Wow. No, he could have hero powered, I think. He won one over here, power. Yeah. So, 
kills it off, and it's kind of like, now what? Now you hound master the 1-1 one, one charge, kill another dude, use your bow on, like, Aina or something. Yeah. Yeah, you Actually, definitely no. use your bow. No, I think use your bow on 4-3. You don't really want to bounce that. You're playing kind of a value. six mana, game. though. It's either a 4-mana 2-2 two, two, or a 6-mana Houndmaster. I guess this is sort of a value game. Oh, wow. It barely dodges that. So is that both players with the Harrison Jones? I believe it is. In their true. Hunter deck? That's true, yeah. Wow. Lots of meta reads being consistent across the board. That's good. I mean, I I, I think this is all just very um, very good decision making. Now there are, there have been a lot of weapons. Yeah. The two classes we keep talking about have even, weapons. Even the third filler class tends to be a weapon class. Yeah. yeah. Weapons are good cards. Yeah. You think it's ever going to come to the phase where like ooze is a thing again? Uh. I, we did see some oozes in WCA. Amaz and Zalay both had ooze. And Hanlock. Didn't do much, but they had them. Hanlock is a decent decent one for them, because you just... Yeah. You want, like, mana-efficient effects. Right, exactly. And you don't need the card draw. I mean, you don't actually, need a 5-4. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's actually really important here. He can take... He can take Trump, I believe, if the perspectives are right. Now he can take Kabi to 4. Um... But he doesn't have damage, and then you're staring back six. You know he has a Houndmaster. Mm -hmm. yeah. So going back to your turn, the two-two. Yeah. The Houndmaster is way better here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he knows he's gonna get Houndmastered. But what can you do about I, it? I you go face. Still go face. Yep. Yep. Trump's gonna think about it, of course, but I don't see any way you're yeah. trading. <laughs> Uh, you'd, you'd lose. He can't Harrison Jones and Houndmaster, though. That's something, at least. So he goes to four. Trump's going to need to draw. Quick shot, kill command. Yep. Owl. Something. Oh. I think that's got to go. That definitely has to go face. Gotta silence the judge. Wait. He's dead. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any way he could have lived? I'm trying to figure that out. I can't see anything. Yet. No. No way. Yeah, there's no there's way. no way he can trade efficiently enough. Yep. The damage is like perfectly spaced. Kavi kind of throws his hands in the air. Just nothing he can goes do. down 2-0. Oh, oh man. Not happy. TSM dominance. <laughs> he has lost five games in a row. Has he? Yeah, he was up 2-0. Oh, it's true. Oh, that is that not is... a good spot to be in in a tournament. Yeah. That's a rough feeling, definitely. Really bad. Really bad indeed. You yeah, can even tell. Yeah, you can see it in his body language. It's pretty yeah. disappointed. And this was a guy that dominated his week. 14 and 4 in games. I think he 3 0 every match in the second day, right? Yeah. So That's... not used to this feeling. But it's it's also that like his his last deck is is the Shaman. That too, which right. is not very consistent. <laughs> and I'm sure he feels like no confidence in yeah. Yeah, after getting 0 3 like, in the last set. His odds of winning in his mind are not high. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> The predictions. That's not a good place to be. Not a good place to be at all. Um, so Trump is on his last deck. His last deck is the Hamlock. Um, I guess he just picked the Hunter. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Now, Kavi had Control Warrior, so in theory he has three favorable matchups, sort of, if depending on how the Hamlock's built. You think Control Warrior beats Hamlock these days? It really depends on the lists. Hmm. So tech choices and stuff will matter. I think his Hunter's favored, and in theory, Mech Shaman should be. Oh, there's Hunter again. Yeah, he's going to start out with the Hunter. If you uh, can't win a game twice, then try third time. Third time's the charm. So we have seen both dominant decks struggle in certain matches. Yeah, that's true. They have been pretty marginal, though. Like, the Hunter lost yeah. to another Hunter. Right. It lost a 1 HP to, like, a Paladin. Right. Right. The Patron was, like, a misplay. Right. Yeah. So at least so, that's something for him to have confidence in, is that, you know, he came really close. So yeah. He wouldn't blow yeah. out. Definitely still has a chance. Never want to just give up because you're down 0-2. Oh, I, yeah. feel, I feel the Hunter, even though it's like the, the slow, greedy one. 
which y you said is like worse for the uh, the handlock. I think what the hunter's market is, but mm. I st I still think um, it's like pretty pretty damn good against handlock. Yeah, it, no, I said it's good against handlock. Better. Yeah, but I think it's even like great to start. Yeah, of course. Hunter's yeah. just naturally good against Handlock and Warlock in general. Oh, yeah, Zombie especially... Chow. Oh, man. That's a... Maybe not. Uh, Zombie Chow is good. I know a lot of uh, Handlock decks are running like one of, but some are actually running two of from what I've seen. Yeah, Trump ran two of in a recent tournament, and he was running Earthen Ring and Siphon Soul mm -hmm. with heal bots. Wow. So very anti aggro. I know he played Jaraxxus as well, which is. Incredibly good against Hunter. Has uh, Dragon Handlock taken off yet? Alastraza and Jaraxxus? I've seen a Malagos Warlock deck. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've, we've all seen that. I taken believe. off. But like it, yours? We haven't seen it really in tournaments too much yet. Mm. I think but we saw it in one week of the Legendary Series. Actually, Lead Paint. Yeah, Lead Paint series. qualified oh. with it. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Well, maybe we'll see more it's, of that. Yeah, today. it was really fun. I liked it. I know a lot of players think it's pretty strong, but we have yet to see it really show up in a live event yet. Mm hmm. What is, um, is this like a waiting game right now? Yeah. I guess um, nobody wants the mulligan first. They want to see how many right. their opponent mulligan. Card like knife That's pretty <laughs> lame. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you got to take every edge you can get. So Trump kept two cards. Kavi kept one, two. I think yeah, he kept two. one or two. Yeah, yeah. He kept the juggler and right. the scientist, I believe. This sucks so much. This sucks really bad. Yeah. You, you can coin a knife to juggle. That's what you're doing, yeah. The zombie chow. Yep. Got to get rid of it. That's yeah. Right. The coin is such a big deal, though, I feel, with Hunter. It lets you have uh, such a bigger range of possibilities with the coin. Definitely. Yeah. But when you're up against a turn one zombie chow, you'd probably rather go first. <laughs> I feel like this, we've seen so many double kill command hands. We really it's, have. It's, yeah, it's in theory good, but you need the minions to get you to the point where they're around 10. Right. Oh, the Warlock taps enough. Yeah, that's true. Well, he's tapped quite a few, like two turns back to back now. Yeah, yeah. Kabi definitely sensing maybe I can just kill him. Mm. But his deck, like we've talked about, is not made to do that. Right. It's a slow hunter. I mean, we look at his head, it seems to be able to do that. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it can, but the Warlock deck has a lot of healing. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel like um, decks that are kind of in the middle ground, like not control, but not aggro, you can often like make decisive like gameplay switches right. in right. order to win the game. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is a very good opportunity to do that. Definitely with that quick shot draw, definitely. I, I feel like he almost wants to save the web spinner for the kill commands. Yeah, and that's yeah. what he's gonna do. Yep. What about Smart. quick shot though? Like, well, like, do you really care about one molten there? Mm, molten with nothing. He definitely can't taunt. That's the a, molten. that's another push that's for true. damage. It's just a, it'd just be an eight eight. Yeah, that's true. Um, I think the quick shot there was fine. The quick shot might have been okay there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely considerations. So for Trump here, he's gonna taunt up with. Watchers, or just lay a giant? Uh, I like yeah, a giant. I think you just like go like for the giant. giant. Hit him in the face. Juggler unleash. Gets him some damage, but I'm in. It passes up on the hero power as well. You could, if you wanted max damage, you unleash hero power. I just feel um, okay. Unleash hero power. I wonder. Unleash I like quick I, shots actually, Max. <laughs> I like oh, Unleash yeah. Hero Power actually. I do like Unleash Hero Power as well. Yeah. That, that, that damage is just not going through later on. I, I know there's kind of two mindsets when you've been getting beaten a lot. There's surely they can't have it a sixth time in a row. <laughs> okay. And there's my opponents have had it every time. Like, I can't go for risky plays. I, I know that one. Right. Yeah. So yeah. if you're thinking the first mindset, you just go all face and say they don't have Molten's, which he doesn't. Yep. He also doesn't have a board clear. Or he actually has nothing. Trump has yeah. nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing. yeah, surely they can't have it six <laughs> times in a row. Yeah. You'd be correct. But yeah. uh, Kabi thinking a lot. That's another thing you do. When He's going for it. He's going all 
baits. Oh, quick shot. Quick shot. Okay. That takes him to seven, and he does have seven next turn. Yep. Yep. So he finds a play that sets up lethal. Set up lethal. Uh, he could have unleashed rather than hero power there, but okay. I mean, I think but Trump I, loses. Right. I think that's game. because there's no way you tap for a farseer here. That's crazy. But, right. Incoming tap for farseer. <laughs> no. No world if he makes tap the read. for farseer here. Uh, Trump's yeah. cheating if he does that. <laughs> what if there's he's nothing just really to coil? good? What if Trump's just insanely good? Yeah. He must think that you know. If he's gonna put me down this, I don't low think that's a good play, moments. though, is it? I don't know. That's not a good play. It's the only play he'll live. <laughs> but in this damn, exact right. circumstance, yeah. So saving that web spinner turns out to be a really good read. He's gonna win one turn before he would have died. Pretty perfectly played mm, yeah. with the hand given to him. Yeah. Only needed one kill command. Yep. I and think for Kabi, they I think didn't Kabi have could it. have made the switch one turn in the other. Like we were talking about the quick shot the turn before. Right. If he yeah. did that, he could have pushed for more damage. Yep. Definitely. And played around like Farseer, or he could have siphoned sold that last turn. Heal bot. Like it just yeah. so happened that, that he won with it, but he yeah. could have also been like one damage short. Right. And then playing a bit more aggressively would have been the difference. Right. But it was good enough. Yeah. It was. So. Yeah. Back well, in it. Back in it, and it's just a huge, uh, it's like, you know, psychological swing. Oh, you yeah. just finally get a win. Right, getting on that board, he must feel no great. Heels. Yeah, no, heels. no heels. Yeah, no heels. Yeah, no like, answer, yes. finally. <laughs> yeah. So uh, maybe, maybe we'll see a different Kabi here uh, going into the next match. Uh, Trump will, of course, have to stick with his Warlock deck, being Conquest yep. format, being uh, his last deck. Um, Handlock is traditionally pretty good against most decks, but not so dominant against the field as it once was. So this, yeah. this could go uh, in, in any way. Yeah. I am really interested to see this next matchup. Like you were saying, the Warrior versus Handlock can kind of go either way based on their deck list. I don't like being the Warrior, generally. I oh. feel like the Warrior is less control about what's going on. Right. right, it's very reactive, I feel, if you have the removal, but it's the Handlock playing all the threats and then you yeah. usually having to remove it as the Warrior. Mm -hmm. I know there's been some metas where warriors have just been fed up with handlock. You put in two big games, and if you draw well, you can't lose. Right. Yeah. Uh, you just answer all of their threats. And you constantly are threatening lethal yeah. with Gromish, and Harrison's there for Jaraxxus. Like, there's nothing sometimes that the handlock yeah. can do. But is I don't that, think that's that a read time? you make right now. Yeah, I think yeah, it's I a single BGH, a single brawl. Definitely. And, you know, just the usual stuff. So, like you said, I think I might rather be the handlock here, and that's good for Trump. So I think I'd decisively would be the handlock. Yeah, same. I'd, mm. I'd say it's a handlock's at least 60% here, and I think that's, like, a really good matchup. Uh, at least 60. I don't know who. Maybe say 55. Well, there's a big game, Hunter. That's a great. And, uh, and a cruel task. I think I would, gonna, yeah, keep the accolade. Yeah. I think I'd keep three and just throw back the cruel yeah, I think yeah, Cruel Task really helps if you draw into the Execute. Right. And Echo is just annoying enough where the the Warlock suddenly has to, instead it's of like play something bomb. really big on four or five, yeah. they have to like deal with it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I think the key is just going to be how Copy has teched his warrior deck and if he expected to run into Handlock. And look at this hand is... And that's a good hand. That's a good hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You awesome. still need some help, though. Like, even if you have all the answers, you need like something. Yeah, this will tide him with. over into at least you know about 15 draws into his deck, mm -hmm, right. and in that top half of his deck, he needs to find some more stuff. Especially Trump having none of his big threats. Wow, no zombie yeah, Trump. Yeah, Trump's just respecting uh, Fiery War X here. Right. I think he's hoping if he gets a Mountain Giant, he'll be able to play it on turn four. Yep. Uh, a bigger drink. That's good. We'll have to see when he squeezes in that zombie chow, though. Obviously not a good card in this matchup. Drake turns out no. to be significantly better. It's going to have to warrant out a uh, Cruel Task execute. Ex yep. Yeah, and that's fine, though. Yeah, but had he not drawn the Cruel Task, it would have warranted out a lot more. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just trade an Acolyte. Probably the Acolyte. Mm. Unless he Dark Bombed it and then Twilight Drake. But I think you just tap here. I think you so. could it's Dark Bomb. But... What about the silence? If you dark bomb, you give up a card. As far as silencing, uh, 
Mm. There are other targets for it in the deck, like uh, Sylvanas later on can be a huge problem. Right. What about like just Ancient Watcher? Maybe uh, I would Ancient definitely Watcher. tap over Ancient Watcher right. if you're going yeah. Ancient Watcher. Cards are very valuable. Definitely. The one advantage that the Warlock has is that you basically, if you if you can, you draw double as many cards as the Warrior. Yeah. And it makes your Drake bigger, which now the Drake is susceptible to shield block, shield slam. Yep. Exactly on the money. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't have to waste an execute. Mm -hmm. He is drawing really well right now, even at the Black yeah. Knight. Black Knight in yeah. his deck. That's tech. And Nefarian. Very nice. Nefarian and is actually really scary if Trump yeah. is playing Jaraxxus. I'm sure he is. Yeah. He Trump's a big fan of Jaraxxus, yeah. so... I think anyone playing Handlock's a big fan of Jaraxxus. Well, I've seen a lot of lists been, like, teching out when Harrison comes into the meta, which right now right. it's definitely in, as we've seen. I see, yeah. I know some people like to play Alex Straza instead of, instead of Jaraxxus. I've also seen a lot of lists with, like, Ragnaros, because yeah, you have so too. many big game targets that you can very often get off a Ragnaros and not have it mm -hmm. answered. So I'm just going to get in his two, though. Very interesting. Trump went for the Entry Watcher play, but now he's not going to be able to silence because of the death spite. Uh, I don't think you really look to silence your Ancient Watcher anyway right. in this matchup. It was more of just there, just in case you needed to Shadow Flame or taunt yeah. it up. No, yeah, it's more of a then. taunt up card in this matchup to stop them from like weaponizing. playing Sylvanas here. Yeah, you definitely don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you definitely don't want to just get it cleared by the You death could spite. Argus, and I think he might just yeah. to free up his hand a bit more. So Ancient Watcher just kind of functioning as a damage sponge for the weapons. Is this a Black Knight target? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's good. It's on curve. That's just big. You're gonna have to get through it eventually. Right. It's blocking your weapon. Black Knight is actually uh, a lot of people don't like Black Knight against Handlock because it's really mana intensive. So you can't like Black Knight and something else. Mm -hmm. Especially this early into the game. That seems to be the, the trouble with the Warlock deck. They just have so many powerful plays, but not enough mana to make enough of them when they yep. need it. Yep. That's why Emperor Thorson is so good in this deck. Oh, yeah. You almost that's always get it off. With the Giant. Give him something to play. Yeah. It's going to be a little sad to find yeah. out Next. everything's going to get answered. <laughs> this is going to be rough. Does the it deny the him... One here? It denies him the Dr. Boom, though. Yeah, I, I think That's I like true. Execute better. Execute followed by a Maiden? Yeah, why not? Just more big stuff. Yeah. Yep. It like lets that. you develop better, which is pretty important. Yep. And yeah, he's no. not quite threatening lethal yet because he's so early into the game that he only has eight mana next turn. Mm. But, you know, it's getting there. You got him at a very good point in life, though, as well. Yeah. He actually has 14 damage right now. Could top deck, you know, like another Cruel Taskmaster for 16. And once he gets Nefarian off, that's a lot of variable damage you can't really account for. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've looked at Nefarian a bit. I like like to mess with the new cards. And it just seems like when you combine your class spells with your opponent's class spells, the combos are just too many. Like, yeah. you just don't bother. Right. Just, once you yeah, get you it, can't really play around it. Yeah, you just can't. It's almost like in Birth or something. Like, you know, once everything's a mana less, they have nine cards in hand. It's like, I can't play. I guess it. I'll just play my own game. Yeah. And Sylvanas gets no value. Gonna pass up Doctor Grim though, just to get rid of an Ancient Watcher. That's a second one. So no Ancient Watcher Shadow Flame is gonna happen this game. Right. And Sylvanas is gone too. So the nice Shadow Flame targets are gone. Yeah. Trump's hand, very awkward. Yep. Often a good Shadow Flame is a big creature, though. Often a good Shadow Flame is like, he just clears out a lot of junk ones with like yeah. a heal bot. That's true. Just the remainders. I feel like you could just Nefarian here. No um, yeah, you probably don't want to hit your opponent's face too much. Yeah. You don't have a brawl. And you have. Not really any removal, except for the BGH. Yeah. I could see him death biting this off. Can't really develop anything in that case. Yeah, I think if he death bites... Ooh, wow. Well, just gonna throw the BGH out. Okay. And... I think I like the death bite better than the shield maiden. It's just too much investment on the board otherwise. This actually does set up lethal because he has the fire warrocks in hand. 
if he topped X Gromish. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Should have started with that, but. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's the Draxus that we expected to see. It's Again, safe. not good in this matchup, really. Oh, still a really awkward hand. Yeah. He can Molten <laughs> Shadow Flame. He can so Killbot Shadow, Shadow Flame. Even Owl works, uh, but it kind of wastes your Owl, in a sense. And we can see that Trump or uh, Kabi. The Owl is, is really good here. Yeah, I think Adol Owl Shadow Flame, just for a full clear. Is... Yeah. Kabi's just going to play another minion, though. So many. You and could just Mortal Coil, because you're not using the rest of your mana, and Mortal Coil might not be useful anymore. Yeah. I could see that. Just cycle it. Just Mortal Coil first to see if it creates any more options. Tap. Oh, yeah. that seems risky. Yeah. Yep, so Gromish top deck, Gromish top deck at any time. Win. This is where the the tricky plays may actually go through. Nope. 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 So it's yes. Nefarian or Boom. I don't like Boom as much because your opponent can like mortal coil the boom bots right. and then molten molten. And you don't have the brawl. Exactly. You don't have any removal. Wow. PO. That's <laughs> That's good. Solanus. Yep. It's yeah. There's a lot of synergies with his hand has right now. So. Yeah. Um, it's hard to get the damage off because if he has Grom, we know he just wins anyway. Yeah. Trump is rocking double BGH. Yep. So he's expecting that handlock mirror, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of different tech bag. choices from each player. Uses the one off the top. I've seen double BGH. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe actually, a, without remembering too well, maybe it was actually in like a Trump YouTube video or something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just teachings. His. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was his or not, game. but I have I have seen double BGH and handlock. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah. common. Right. Uh, I haven't really seen it too much with the siphon soul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It tends to be in place of that. Mm. But Trump going really heavy on killing some big stuff. Expect to see a lot of it. But still with the zombie chows and the Draxus to play against the hunter. So try kind of trying to get all over the place with yeah. this tech. It's kind of like greedy on both ends of the spectrum. Yep. Often that's kind of a bad idea in Hearthstone. You kind of want fairly right. one-dimensional yeah. decks. Right. But with Handlock you have a lot of options with, yeah. with few cards being so powerful. Right. And you have such huge hands that usually... Yeah. So Trump goes for, you know, reasonably greedy play. Right, yeah. And it Looks to be working out. So far. There's no way to really remove those giants. Nope. You can, like, implosion the 4-2. <laughs> you could implosion a giant, see if you roll 4. But even that's not that great. Power you can always take one. Yeah. one yeah. Decides to do that. Seems reasonable. The second BGH yeah. is going to come in hand. Oh, yeah. And the handlock... He's looking pretty good right now. Turning actually. it around, yeah. yeah. It was looking really mm -hmm. grim for a little while. Uh, Kabi really running out of stuff. He didn't draw Grom. Yeah. That Just was the slowness the one of Trump's missing. deck made it so Kabi's like, strength was kind of gone. Like, Kabi's hand was stall in the late game and just push for threats, but those threats are so irrelevant with the huge answers Trump has. Yeah, I yep. think the big turn was actually last turn when Trump was dead to Gromish. But instead of playing scared by playing Belcher or Healbot, he yep. just decided to say, Molten, Molten, this is the only time I'm ever going to get these out. Yeah. I need to pressure. Yeah. And it paid off. And now he's got the heal, the taunt, the BGH, more taunts, more Yeah, I think if more he, heals. he realized the situation that there was no way he would win, or most likely not right. win, if he just mm -hmm. healed up at that point or just played a taunt. So. Yep. Really, really found the winning play. Definitely. And I'd say now he's in pretty good position. Tappy tappy. <laughs> you know Trump loves tapping. Oh yeah, he's been tapping every turn up till now. I Might know well there's a YouTube going. video about that. <laughs> I think there is actually. Yeah, it's called Fearless Tapping. Okay. I've watched my Trump's teachings. I don't really... Uh, actually, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, I was still it according really... to Kit Kats, it weakens you to brawl. <laughs> that oh, is true. I see. 
I was thinking most about execute, but it wouldn't really matter because of the death spite already being there. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of weak to, like, uh, another Taskmaster clearing out the slime. Or if he has any way to deal one extra to the slime. Uh, yeah, he's actually going to implosion, probably. <laughs> Can't really play around that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I think you definitely draw first. Yeah, you if get. you're going to play shield block. Uh, there it finally comes. Too late. He's out of whirlwinds and stuff. Uh, he knows Trump's out of BGHs. There's still a siphon, though. I think he's going to be really surprised when he sees the <laughs> Siphon button. after double BGH. He, yeah. He can go to well, if he's studied right up, now. Trump's been playing Siphon for a while. That's true. He can go 24? to 24. <laughs> yeah, okay. 26, right? 26, yeah. 26. Yeah. Yeah, 16, Ooh. double 8. Um, yeah, I don't know if you play both. No. Yeah, I don't yeah. think there's any need. The problem with Siphon is you can't heal as well, or Belcher. So... It is a little interesting. You can Shadow Flame, which is pretty good. Yeah. But you're just Shadow Flaming some Boom Bots. So? You can Heal Bot. You could die doing that, though. No, you can Heal Bot, Shadow Flame, the Heal Bot. Oh, before Shadow Flame, one the Heal Bot. Okay, yeah. Boom. That's, that's pretty good. I think that's a good play, yeah. Shadow Flame, the Heal Bot. You could still yeah. die doing that. You <laughs> Good old Boom Bots. Gotcha. No. Not if you Heal Bot first, right? And yeah. You Shadow Flame, the Heal Bot? Yeah, exactly. Heal Bot. Fine. Yeah, you can only go to 14, but okay. he's going with another play. Gonna coil, see where it goes. I, I like resolving the RNG first. Trump just making sure right. there's no way. There's always, always a way. Yeah. There's always a way. Right. This taunt. Yeah. Goes for the taunt. Potentially maybe setting up a Jaraxxus next turn, but one of the things you're afraid of in this position is Harrison Jones. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So you don't want to throw the game away by just Draxxusing into one. Three's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good it's enough. actually much more relevant than two. Because it makes it so that the imps are probably going to be able to get through that slime. Yeah, just by themselves. Which makes Trump, hit. again, have to take a defensive position. Right. So I think the one thing you don't do this turn is Draxxus. No, yeah, I don't think you'd that'd be this. that'd be bad. It's a little too risky at this point. Mm -hmm. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. Drax is okay. Um, you you definitely have to clear off all the one ones. Right. Yeah, if you Drax and clear off all the one ones, okay. I think it looks pretty fine. You can get Harrison though. That's yeah. That's the only thing I was. Yeah, thinking, but you still have so many cards, and they're so powerful. No, they could run you out of stuff at that point. I think so. I don't know. I think when like they could draw into the execute for the Drake. Right. I guess you have a lot of six sixes, but then they're just constantly threatening lethal with Grom. Yeah. I think when Control Warrior has like a full hand, there's just there's so many options for the removal, it becomes way too scary. Yeah, brawl, all that. So I think at this point there's probably a way to lock up the game without Draxxusing. Right. Yet. He's in the good spot, I think. We know Drax would be great here. Yeah, we know. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're in Trump's seat, it's really scary to just slam Jaraxxus. Yeah, oh, that's... Brawl is a really nice draw. You just throw it out now. Yep. <laughs> yep. Imp RNG? Is like Imp is 33% Imp. to win. That's... That's pretty good. No. Oh, oh so you got the slime. You got the slime. Oh, good. Okay. Same thing. Solid. And just re-equips. Still threatening 15. Yep. Drax is pretty still good. not a good play. So yep. Trump really struggling to piece together enough damage to eventually kill the warrior. Yeah. And we're getting to that point. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's, he's thinking about he's it. Thinking he has three cards left. He has to. Yeah. At this point. You can't, you can't tap him into a better option. Yeah, right? he has to. And now Cruel Taskmaster totally out of threats at this point. The there, there is only one Cruel Task. So with nine cards in the deck? Left, yeah, because he oh. played one very early on, didn't he? Oh, no, I thought you meant in the deck list. Yeah, he has one left in the deck. Right. And uh, also Harrison. Also so Harrison. two out of he's, nine he's thinking, are extremely He's thinking good. of not attacking here because of Harrison. It might just mill him. Uh, just mill. Yeah, but his opponent has eight left. 
So he would draw all of his deck. He'd have a 10-card hand. He'd be threatening lethal every turn. Trump has, what, no taunts? Yeah, no taunts. Yeah, no taunts. So he'd just lose to Harrison no matter what, because mm -hmm. he would draw the Taskmaster. Mm -hmm. So things are tough for Trump now. Kind of ran out of threats. Yep. That's yeah. that's the one of downfall for Hamlock, definitely. It's, they have a very small amount of threats. When I think I like Siphon Soul here. Yeah, you definitely Siphon here, I think. I was looking like Hellfire maybe, but nah. Hellf yeah, Hellfire is just never going to be good, but you yeah. have to kind of accept that. Right. It might be used to finish him off. Because mm -hmm. you need every point of damage you can get. He has two cards in deck. Yeah. With a lot of Infernals. He might have another Argus. I know a lot of people that play Draxus like two Argus. It, it helps your post Draxus yeah. game a lot. And probably is kind of out of removal. So he's really looking for Harrison or Cruel Task. Emperor 29th card. <laughs> no big deal. Um, it's like trades Emperor Infernal me. You pretty much know that card is either Taskmaster or Grom. Yeah. Definitely. So you can play pretty risky. He's one out of six to draw the other beasts. Like you can put the six six in, put your face into the slime, drop an Emperor, make a token, go. What did you think about just Hellfiring? Hellfire a weapon, and then Mortal Coil heal bot, or just Mortal Coil and. You would Mortal Coal not to draw in that case. Right. You don't want, oh, yeah, you don't you want don't any want draw. more draws at this point. Yeah, it's right. one card in deck. Um, I like this more. Yeah, it seems more standard. I was just seeing if there's a better option. Yeah. Uh, I really want to make the token. You need the 6 Oh, yeah. yeah. So you can't... You have to find a way. And playing the Emperor this turn helps him fit in the 6-6 six, six in future turns. Oh, hello. Okay, if this is Awakens, that's, then, that's game. Yep. So another one in five, followed by a one in five. Even if this is like night, no, no. nightmare. Oh, nightmare. I think that's nightmare. twelve. Yep. So he needs to taunt he, or heal he or both. Heal. Oh yeah, he has both. So and I can't see him playing any other things. Yep. So it should be okay. He could remove Ysera by shadow flaming, and get off a heal, and a taunt, or just one or the other with the hero power, which is probably better. So he's going to coil first. I guess killing that with his face. Right. No, I think he's going to Hellfire. Um, Why would you... Hellfire doesn't really help you clear the Acera, though. It right. does. Your weapon, the 6-3. Are you really going to use your weapon? Yeah, you're I gonna guess heal. you're going to heal bot. You're going to heal. That's true. Okay. So that puts you at 13. Yeah. I could see that. I think that's the play. Hmm. You might have to ignore you, Sarah. Just to have enough damage. And it's really hard to do all that math in this time. All right. So Trump's going to kill Armor Smith. Yeah, it's going to look like it's Hellfire. And you, Sarah. Oh, nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, no Hellfire for sure. And he's going to taunt up some stuff. Yep. I like this. He needs to get as much damage on the board as possible. Right. Here's the second Brawl Girl. Ooh. That would <laughs> I mean, be, that'd be rough. game. <laughs> Um, that looks really good, though. Like, it does look pretty good. It's yeah, very it's, solid. It's in a good spot. And, and, and of course. Wow, of course. Not How useful anymore. Yep. Um, Back to work. Oh, this is... That's interesting. Does that win him the game? No, because he doesn't have... Right wait, anymore. fatigue. He has to heal bot for one, right? Right, he has to heal bot for one. He has to heal bot for one to win. Ooh, well, he but I that. think it wins him the game. Yeah. If no, he heals, not for one. He can just Hellfire. Oh, but yeah, you wouldn't mm, want to do that. No, yeah. you, you don't Hellfire. Yeah. Uh, Two. If you Heal Bot for one, I think you win. Cause yeah. yeah, yeah, you win. You win if you Heal Bot for one. That's all he has to do here. He's... No, Hellfire. Or is this lethal? Oh, okay. just kidding. Lethal. We're bad at yeah. math. Hellfire. Uh, it would have been way cooler <laughs> if he had to Heal Bot for one, which I'm sure Trump would have done. But Trump takes the series. He takes the series. Very close game. He's got They're another uh, opponent to go through, though. Yeah. You can he tell he's relieved, to qualify, but he knows there's more work to be done. More right. work to be done. But that is it for Kabi. That was a pretty cool play by Kabi there at the end, though. I did. I liked it. Yeah. 
sort of gave him an, an out to win, chance, kind yeah. of. A small chance. Yeah. I think it's it's like almost poetic that like Trump played like extremely greedy, but he won because of it. <laughs> yeah. Like most of his games. Well, yep. we did see Trump hold back on the Draxus a lot until mm -hmm. he realized like, Get okay, two cards this left. is it. I have yeah. to do this. Yeah. And he avoided the two draws in Kabi's deck, and it worked out for him. Yeah. It worked out very well. Trump goes through. Kabi doesn't. Yeah. Uh, next up, we are going to have the uh, the Trump versus uh, Koyuki, Koyuki match. Yep. Going to have another quarter finalist for Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who do you guys like between those two? Mm. I won't I answer this question. I'm really <laughs> interested to see how to see how Trump's decks do because he very clearly kind of went away from the meta with mm -hmm. the no warrior. Right. Yeah. And Koyuki's much more of, you know, meta. Brought yeah, patron, patron, brought hunter, rogue as the rogue. third deck, which is, I know a lot of pros there like. There is that aspect Definitely. of just playing what you know, though. True. I think that's what happened for Trump. Yeah, for sure. For sure. He's clearly had good results with it on ladder, so Definitely. I'm interested to see, does it translate to tournaments, or are these sort of a little weaker decks, and is the patron warrior going to prove to be a big issue mm -hmm. with the hunter? Well, we do uh, get to see what Trump thinks of all this. I think uh, Frodan has some questions for him, so why don't we go to that? Thank you very much, Crip. Congratulations to Trump. You survive elimination for now. You have another match coming up. Uh, just give some thoughts. Ooh, you can cheer. It's okay. You do have a couple of fans out here. Who, who here loves Trump, huh? I'm making some noise, too. I feel really awkward if I'm not holding a placard, but I didn't even have it, so bear with me if you can, Trump. So talk to me about that series overall. This is the first time we revealed the, the Warlock, but lo and behold, it's a Handlock, which you've been playing really well. So let's, uh, let's just talk a little bit about uh, your strategy overall. All right, well, my strategy overall is to bring three decks that I've performed or practiced a lot on ladder. I've practiced the Paladin a lot, I've practiced the Handlock. Anyone who's done the research uh, probably could imagine that I'd bring those two decks, played Hunter to round it out. Uh, those were some really close games, I thought, and I'm really happy to survive elimination. About to go into a really tough one against Kuyuki. That's right. You and Koyuki used to be former clan mates back at Liquid Value when you played on the same team at ESGN. Uh, and now, a year and so later, you're here playing at ESL. Is that kind of nostalgic for you at all? Yeah, it's kind of nostalgic. Uh, fun story that Koyuki revealed to me is that uh, I've never actually played against Koyuki despite being his teammate for uh, two teams in Liquid Value, and we've known each other for quite some time. Uh, really hoping to get the win and be able to advance further in this tournament. We don't actually get to see you at tournaments very often. Uh, you, you're busy with your streaming or doing your other projects and whatnot, so uh, this is one of the first offline appearances we've seen in quite some time. Does that mean anything specific to you special, or is it just kind of like another tournament that you've been playing because you've been performing a lot online, just not too much offline? It does mean a lot. Since I don't go to many of these land tournaments, this one I really, really want to win, especially since it was a kind of tough road to get here. I had to make sure that Savits didn't get in here. Sorry, Savits fans. So I'll make sure to try to carry his flame into the rest of the tournament. All right, well, we don't want to keep you too long, Trump, because uh, hopefully we'll see you back up here, or maybe we'll see Koyuki. We'll only find out as time goes on. In the meantime, we're going to give it back over to the desk. We have another special player commentator, and that's Raynad along with TJ.